Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In the previous video, I introduced you to the concept of subset selection. And it may be sometimes possible to run all possible combination of uh, models in the regression uh, analysis. But as I said in my previous video, uh, sometimes it may not be possible to regress all models and we need a strategy to select the best predictors among uh, all potential predictors. And two widely used methods are called uh, uh, forward selection and backward selection. If you are using forward stepwise selection, you start your regression analysis by regressing a model by regressing only on uh, the intercept. And in the next stage, you will add one variable at a time. And then you see what is happening with the, for example, the cross validation whether the inclusion of x1 in the model is increasing the CV or decreasing the CV. And remember, we want a model with the minimum CV. If x1 is increasing the CV as compared with the earlier model, we're going to drop x1 from the equation. In the next step, uh, we are going to include x2 in the model and rerun the model. Now, we're going to look at uh, the CV again. And if the CV is improved, that is as compared with our earlier preferred model, the CV in this case is lower, we're going to keep X2 in the model. And then in the next step, we are going to include another variable, for example, X3 in the model and see what is happening with the CV. And again, if uh, cross validation is improved, in this model, we're going to keep X3 in the model. Otherwise, we're going to drop and uh, we're going to include X4 uh, in this model. We're going to keep uh, uh, repeating this uh, procedure until we cannot see any improvement in the predictive accuracy based on any of uh, the measures that I talked about. So again, in the forward stepwise selection, you start with the intercept only, include one variable in the model at a time. If it improves the accuracy of the model, keep it and add another variable in the model. If it does not improve the accuracy, you drop it and then add uh, another variable in the model. You keep doing this until you do not see any further improvement in the predictive accuracy. So that is the first method. Then you can also start uh, by including all the potential X variables in the model. For example, you may have k potential variables and you include all x k's in the regression equation and uh, you look at uh, the cross validation. In the next step, you drop one variable at the time from this equation and see what is happening with the cross validation. If it improves the cross validation, keep that variable dropped. Otherwise, we're going to include it we're going to keep uh, repeating this step by dropping one variable at a time and look at the cross validation. If uh, the drop of that variable is uh, improving the accuracy of the model, we're going to exclude that variable from our regression equation. Otherwise, we're going to include it. And we're going to keep repeating this stuff until we see no further improvement. So again, the procedure is almost identical for both of uh, these uh, selection uh, methods. In the first method, you start with the intercept, include one variable at a time and look at the CV. And in the other case, you start with all the potential variables in the model and drop one at a time and look whether it is improving cross validation or not. And uh, you keep on repeating these steps until you see no further improvement in your cross validation and you pick uh, uh, the best uh, predictors for your Y variable. All right, in the next video, I'm going to show you an example of uh, using uh, these uh, methods to choose best predictors. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.